In this lecture, we're going to look at using the Layout Master within Fuse. This allows us to trigger a layout animation on various different panels, and as you'll see, it does provide a very smooth layout experience. So we'll start off by having a root panel, and that panel will have two other panels. They'll be inside of a stack panel on top of one another, and we'll use this to house two panels with text inside. So let's add some text. And we'll set the text equal to click me. We'll set the height of this panel to be 100 and we'll align the text in the center. We'll copy this and do the same for another panel. This time, the panel will say, click me too. And we'll use this to determine when somebody has clicked on this element, we can fire a clicked event. We'll look at firing that in a moment. Instead, what I want to do is create a rectangle above this. We'll make the color of this rectangle red for now. And at this moment, you will see that it does take up the entire page. But what I want to do is add a layout animation. So what the layout animation allows us to do is any time that we select one of the text elements, we're going to fire this layout animation. For now, we will simply just add a move animation. That can move relative to the world position change. It will take one second to do so, and we'll add some easing equal to elastic in out. So we now have a rectangle. We've got two text elements, and whenever we select these text elements, I want to change what's known as the layout master. So in order to set a default layout master, I'm going to give a UX name to both of these panels. We'll simply call this one panel one, and the second, panel two. Then inside of our rectangle here, we can set the layout master equal to panel one. And notice how the rectangle now only takes up that first panel. And that's because we've set the layout master. So what this rectangle does is it effectively now takes the height and width of that panel. And this would also be the fact if I said panel two, it would go from panel one to panel two because it only takes up the width and height and position of panel two. So this gives us some unique properties because what we can do now is any time that we change that layout master, what we can then do is add a move animation. So this opens up some interesting doors because what we can then do is start animating this change. So inside of our panel, we'll add a clicked tag. And in here, we can set particular attributes. So let's add a set. And in order to set the layout master at any time this element is clicked, we need to give the rectangle a UX name. So let's give this a UX name of my rect. And we can simply say my rect dot layout master is equal to panel one. Let's now copy this and add this to the second panel, but instead of panel one, we'll say panel two. Now, if we select our rectangle, you can see that it does flip between both panels, but our move animation doesn't trigger. And that's because we need to add an X and Y like so. By adding an X and Y, it allows Fuse to determine how it should move this rectangle at the same time as moving it to the new panel. So if we said X10 and Y10, and then selected a new panel, you can see that it almost flies off screen when we select a new rectangle. And that's because we've given it different X and Y positions. Let's change the width of our panel to be 50 instead. You'll notice that when we select the new panel, the rectangle only takes up 50. But let's move the X and Y to be one and also add a resize event. So we can say that we want to resize this 
and we want to do it relative to the size change. Give this an x and y of 1 again, and this time a duration of 2. We need to add relative 2 here. And once we do that and we select the rectangle, you can see that the rectangle itself fills up or decrements its size depending on which layout it's taking up. And this takes two seconds to do so, and we have a quite interesting UI effect here. And I think the great thing about this is that you can get as creative as you want with the layout animations. You can find more about this on the Fuse documentation and the wealth of examples. This here is part of an example on the Fuse site, and I think it's a really good showcase of the power of animations and movable items within Fuse. Oh, this new crazy mother...